I think about it, man, it's like, who does, who does that kind of stuff? Who, who creates a situation where life is so difficult for other people? You know, like if he doesn't have the money to make the repairs, all he has to do is just call us up, hold the meeting. This is what we do in America. You know, it'll probably be a whole lot of hollering and people upset and cussing in Spanish for a few minutes. It'll probably be people cussing in Spanish for a few minutes speaking in tongues, casting out demons. But for the most part, people will get over it. They'll be like, okay, well, he doesn't have the money. We're either going to move out or stay. You know, they're going to give us 30 days rent for free to decide if we're going to move out or we're going to stay. But for him to keep raising the rent, you know, he's been here since 2018. He's raised the rent three times. It just makes, you know, like like you hear me shaking my leg, I have to control that. Like, let me stop shaking my leg. You know, it just gets to that point to where it's just like, man. It's like this. It's like the... He don't want it to be Manai. He he want he want this thing to be malignant. He want it to be malignant. You know? I mean it's bad. When I say it's bad, it's bad. It's bad. And I should have never trusted my ex to move in this place. She begged me to move in this apartment. And I'm like, why are you being so nice to me? I just got a sixty thousand dollar grant. Why would I want to move into this place when I already got two houses set up? I told her, she was like, no, no, but you know, it's hard out there. You know, I'm like, what is the problem? I have two houses waiting for me in two different places. One was below fair market value in a decent area. I mean, it was a great place to live. Below fair market value. Huge house. If something broke in there, I'd have fixed it. But this is an apartment. This is not a house. When you pay for something like an apartment, you know, you need to get it fixed, man. That's what you're paying for. It's not a house. This has no yards. I was about to move into a house with three yards, not one. Not not one in the front. You know, and a patio in the back. It had a yard on the side. A yard in the middle, and a yard in the front. Three yards. Gated. Below fair market value. See, sometimes if you move way out, you might not want to move way out. But if you move way out, where no one wants to live, you will probably find you a very nice home for a little bit of nothing. You know, you just have to be like some type of a remote worker or somebody who can, you know, take your work with you. You know, you probably don't work on an hour. You don't work on the clock. You know, you work off the clock. But don't be fooled. People that work off the clock, they'll work circles around you. <laughs> you know, some of us will work three days at a time, nonstop. We we'll keep going and going and going and going and going until we crash and, you know, just about die from exhaustion. But, uh, man, this has been the hardest thing dealing with this dude. Like, you know, we try to catch up with him. He's basically a scam artist. He's nowhere to be found. He's always sneaking. He's sneaky like a little mouse trying not to get caught. And he knows somebody has a trap out. He just don't know who it is. But the people over here are pissed. Because nobody apartment has been fixed in years. So he has all this bad energy coming for him. I can imagine when it all comes.
comes to a mount. <laughs> Balls on his head like an anvil. Like cartoons, you know. What can I say, man? What can I say? But, uh, at the end of the day, man, that's all I can say. I, I don't know. Like, it's been really difficult to deal with this. To have to make this album in this place. You know. Neighbors roof falling in. All kind of bugs rushing up. We fighting bugs and roaches and termites and all kind of stuff. And we've been winning. But just the fact that we have to fight so much. I mean, all my life I has to fight. You know. It's one of those things, man. Like, you know, if I really wanted to be ignorant and very evil about it, I could be very evil and I could be ignorant. But I'm not going to do that because I don't need that bad energy on me, you know. So I have to find other ways to deal with it. Find, you know, find other ways. There's another way. There's another way. There is an apartment building in Ventana, California, 9142-9148 Pepper Avenue, California 92335, where the residents are left to pay rent without any repairs from the owner-manager Samuel Mikhail of TNCR Management. These apartments have been deemed to have asbestos and roofs have caved in on tenants while other roofs continue to leak, forcing previous renters on the streets. Other tenants are sick from the building's living conditions and termites continue to eat away at the structures. Some older apartments have not been repaired in three years while others have been patched up renovated and rented out to unsuspecting new tenants with huge increases on the rent. Apartment E has also underwent abatement warnings in 2018 via the federal government. Apartment D has recently been treated for asbestos as due to the roof caving in January 2021. The previous renters asked TNCR management for repairs, but received none. Shortly after being denied help, the roof on apartment D caved in. Current renters continue to pay rent and request for repairs, but it has been said that Samuel has an insider at the City of Fontana Building Inspection Department to ignore phone calls and ignore full inspections on the entire building. Apartment D was deemed unlivable and previous, abated with the help of the Fontana Police Department. Previously dilapidated apartment D has now been updated and deemed as livable.
According to sources, another apartment has also underwent abatement warnings in via the federal government in 2018. The city inspection team of Fontana, California failed to inspect any of the other apartments connected to apartment D that were affected by the roof caving in. Water damage traveled through the building and TNCR made no effort to investigate this deluge of flooding to an adjacent apartment. Samuel Mikhail and TNCR management are taking ill advantage of hard-working citizens and renters who for whatever reason are being treated unjustly and being financially robbed month after month while management continues to raise the rent. The monthly rent has been raised three times since 2018 since Samuel took over as property manager. We asked if tenants called management recently for repairs and was told, yes, they just usually take down the request and dismiss claims. Some tenants were yelled at over the phone by office attendants regarding the property and no one has received repairs in years. Our research analyst team confirmed that reviews online regarding TNCR, the new city realty company, have also done the same things to other renters in the past. The living situations here are cause enough to call to action and bring justice against such practices during a pandemic when so many small businesses have been financially bailed out or served with loans via the restorative plans of President Joe Biden. Malling Wilshire Chief Deputy and Southern California Region of Affairs for the Governor, based in the Inland Empire, Karina Tama, Southern California's Regional Coordinator for Governor Newsom Office, and Erica Pan, Deputy Director for the Center of Diseases, State Epidemiologist of California Department of Public Health are all being contacted regarding the injustice plaguing our communities at hand. Samuel and TNCR Management Company continued these practices through fear and intimidation toward people he suspects at being immigrants while Samuel himself is an immigrant. Without knowledge of his status in America some of the renters who have rented apartments more than 15 years in this building are long-term tenants while Samuel and TNCR acquired the management position three years ago in 2018. Several long-term tenants say that Samuel has been the worst management they have had to endure throughout the years. Problems in the units range from no electricity in certain rooms and or bathrooms. These rooms have to be fed power extensions throughout the apartment for utility purpose. A renter also suffered electrical shock due to the lack of electricity and having to string power extensions through the halls of her apartment. There is mold throughout most units, termites terrorizing the units throughout the summer, leaky fixtures, broken electrical light fixtures, lack of ventilation in kitchen and bathrooms due to faulty wiring, aged out gas range connections and kitchen appliances, carpet mold, unmaintained air ducts that blow out what looks to be asbestos flakes, broken air and heat conditioning units, dry rotted cabinetry, outdated wiring protruding the walls that are contaminated with staphylococcus. A one-year-old baby contracted impetigo i.e. staph infection due to touching the wiring and many of the tenants have become ill since moving into the building. Outdated rusty water pipes through the units that contaminating both bath and shower and water supplies. Shower and bathroom drains that are deteriorating and yield forth all manner of insect, bugs, and gnat flies that terrorize the units and disturb the quality and living standards. Garage doors are falling apart due to wear and tear. The list goes on and is too much to mention in this report, so we have an extended report list that will be made available along with video footage, pictures, and further information to validate the sources of our clients' complaints. Tenants have no idea who owns the property at the time seeing that Samuel somehow brokered the deal so that he could assume the management position, which in some form appears to be a RISPA violation. These are institutional investors who are anonymously taking on another property without intentions to maintain or repair units until long-term tenants become frustrated enough to move out. Previous and current tenants are being driven out only to raise rents even higher on new unsuspecting tenants who move in. It's unconscionable, and to TNCR management, it's just business. Americans owe it to themselves and their families who are suffering due to profit-mongering by these non-American investment companies. This is why we are making this information known and widespread to the general public so that you too can share. Just think in 10 years or more it could be your kids or family members struggling under this financial war where they are being forced to pay unfair market value for living spaces that are not fit to live in. Is this to be expected as the new norm? My question to you is what if it were you? 
As citizens, we've sat down idly by too many times in the past, while others have fought for rights and due process only to see the same suffering at our front door and backyards. We owe it to ourselves to help our fellow citizens gain lawyers and fight what looks to be the new head of oppression. It's disgusting that we live in a land that we call free while others from abroad are allowed to come and get away with this type of behavior. As Americans, we should continue to expect so much more from each other and never allow this. My question to you is, why would we accept this from others? Speak up and share this article, post it to your friends and family, and donate it to our community fund to raise enough money to hire proper enforcement to solidify this case and win. Apartment manager Samuel Mikhail once told a tenant who was participating in a federal housing subsidy program that the government was terminating its share of the rental payment nine months early and that the tenant needed to pay an extra $900 monthly rent directly to Samuel instead of HUD for the remaining nine months of the federal contract. The tenant stated to Samuel that they hadn't received any mail regarding an issue and told Samuel to forward a CC email of the letter sent by the state. Samuel agreed and never responded. In fact, Samuel never mentioned the letter again. Predatory behavior, and falsifying federal government information would have hiked the overall payment by $9,000. Samuel failed at providing proper documentation and the allegations sounds criminal. It is clearly unacceptable behavior by a so-called real estate investment broker Samuel Mikhail license hash 01712561. Below we have Samuel's information and broker's license. Due to online false rental reviews and testimonials, Samuel hides his past rental practices and tenant violations with fake posts. You will have to use the Yelp filter feature or other website filters to cite various sources of information from other past victims of Samuel Mikhail and TNCR management. This entire situation has been a major distraction and a major harassment against the families who live here. These are hard-working families who work regular jobs and own small businesses. They make requests to fix the property and are dismissed by the management company. They deserve undivided focus and attention toward this matter. Samuel has raised the rent three times since he took over as property manager in 2018, as well as charging illegal uncapped late fees beyond the 5% cap range for California residents. This has made it hard to sleep at night for the residents of this community, just knowing that someone is working to rob you of your humanity, dignity, and money is bad enough. TNCR Realty Management goes even further by taking ill advantage of others who do not have the luxury time to sit back and devise ways to steal from tenants. The bottom line is this, this behavior and treatment is more than wrong and must be stopped immediately. The tenants deserve a refund of their money back for the years of suffering, harassment, and blatant ignorance they have accrued. When you purchase a product or a hotel room and something is not right, you should receive refund and the amount of services they have been denied. Samuel Mikhail License Hash 01712561 The New City Realty 14201 Lambert RD, Whittier, California Zip code 90605, the New City Realty 2181 S Atlantic BLVD Commerce, California. Zip code 90040.
There is an apartment building in Fontana, California, 9142 to 9148 Pepper Avenue, California, 92335, where the residents, mostly Mexican Americans, are left to pay rent without any repairs from the owner manager, Samuel Mikhail, of TNCR Management. These apartments have been deemed to have asbestos and roofs have caved in on tenants, forcing them on the streets. Other tenants are sick from the building's living conditions and termites continue to eat away at the structures. Some older apartments have not been repaired in three years, while others have been patched up renovated and rented out to unsuspecting new tenants, with huge increases on the rent. The previous renters continue to pay and request for repairs, but it is said that Jonathan Galassa, manager of Sierra Realty, and the previous manager of the apartment building, has an insider at the city of Fontana building inspection department to pass these apartments as livable when they are not. In fact, when the roof caved in on tenants last January 2021, authorities deemed the unit unfit to live in, and the tenants were forced to vacate the premises of that particular unit number D. Unfortunately, the city inspection team of Fontana, California, failed to inspect the other connected apartments that were affected by this deluge flooding through bathrooms and adjacent apartments. It is a tragedy that slumlords as Samuel Mikhail, a Russian-Egyptian native of North Africa, is now living in America taking ill advantage of hard-working citizens and renters who for whatever reason are being treated unjustly and being financially robbed month after month while Samuel continues to raise the rent three times since 2018 to cover his personal debts. We asked if tenants called management recently for repairs and was told. Yes, they just usually take down the request and some tenants were yelled at over the phone by office attendants regarding the property and no one has received repairs in years. Our research analyst team confirmed that reviews online regarding TNCR, the New City Realty Company, have also done the same things to other renters in the past. The living situations here are cause enough to call to action and bring justice against such practices during a pandemic when so many small businesses have been financially bailed out or served with loans via the restorative plans of President Joe Biden. Molly Wilshire, Chief Deputy and Southern California Region of Affairs for the Governor based in the Inland Empire. Karina Toma, Southern California's Regional Coordinator for Governor Newsom Office, and Erica Pan, Deputy Director for the Center of Diseases, State Epidemiologist, of California Department of Public Health, are all being contacted regarding the injustice plaguing our communities at hand. Samuel and TNCR Management Company continued these practices through fear and intimidation toward people he suspects at being immigrants, while Samuel himself is an immigrant. Without knowledge of his status in America, some of the renters who have rented apartments more than 15 years in this building are long-term tenants, while Samuel and TNCR acquired the management position three years ago in 2018. Several long-term tenants say that Samuel has been the worst management they have had to endure throughout the years. Problems in the units range from no electricity in certain rooms 